often fell into the category of unintended consequences. In an effort to aggressively combat breast cancer, women were losing lymph nodes that often resulted in a loss of quality of life. Surgeons are now rethinking the practice. I think we're getting more and more away from doing lymph nodes, uh, which really creates a lot of uh, side effects, a, a lot of complications with lymphedema. It was not uncommon for women to find themselves battling lymphedema, a lifelong swelling that occurs when fewer lymph nodes are available to distribute lymphatic fluid. Many also required post-op therapies to alleviate severe pain and reduced range of motion. There's a lot of scarring involved and uh, limited range of motion in usually the shoulder and sometimes neck and thoracic region. A lot of times they cannot reach into cabinets or you know, do their hair, or sometimes they actually need someone to help them with showering. Comprehensive studies were done to find out if lymph node removal was necessary to treat invasive breast cancer. The conclusion was no. Years ago, surgeons removed 20 to 30 lymph nodes from an armpit. Now it's believed that less may be more. We used to, if, the, if there were cancer cells, regardless of how big the deposits were, we used to remove all the lymph nodes. But with this new uh, data, a group of women who had these lymph nodes that were positive, who went on to axillary node dissection versus those that didn't, and uh, the conclusion was that there was really no difference, but it just added risks. It's a conservative approach to breast cancer that's leaving women cancer-free and clear of a major complication. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.